Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Scrap Gear from the Mulehorn Gaming Crew, and it's that time of week again for Zur. So this week, Zur is on Io. He's over in the Giant Scar area, so make sure to use that landing zone. Uh, and then he's actually going to be right over here, just on the other side of this wall. This big wall right here. Uh, and then he's going to be right in this cave right here. So let's go take a look at what he's got for us this week. Alright, so what does he got for his exotic weapon? He has the Risk Runner Submachine Gun. Uh, exotic perk, Arc Conductor. Taking arc damage increases weapon power. Uh, it also uh, resists incoming arc damage and kills extend the time in this overcharged state. Uh, combined with the Superconductor trait on this weapon, this is a great mob clearer, uh, especially if you're fighting something like the Fallen and you get hit with any of their weapons. They're all arc-based for the most part uh so that will increase the power of it and then you know they usually like to group up so you're able to kind of go and chain that lightning to all of them kind of like the zahalo supercell from destiny one this is just the submachine gun version of that all in all great for clearing mobs not so much for bosses uh and then again in pvp eh, that's not going to be a good weapon because you're not really going to see your enemies all clumped together uh in pvp so this is one if you don't already have it and you have a bunch of legendary shards, uh, pick it up so that way you can have it in your collection. Other than that, you can skip it this week. Uh, next up, we've got the Hunter uh, Exotic, the Mechaneer's Trick Sleeves, which are gauntlets. And the exotic perk on this is Spring Load Loaded Mounting. Increases sidearm, ready, and reload speed. Uh, this is I've been having a lot of luck with sidearms in PvP, uh, and this just makes it so that those work even better because you can get them ready you can switch to them faster as well as reload them faster as well so you're not stuck with that empty clip uh all in all unless you use a lot of sidearms in pve they're not really i mean it, if you don't use sidearms really at all these aren't going to help you because they only help with that uh but if you do use a lot of sidearms this is might be one that you might be looking at if you don't already have it in your collection and you have a bunch of legendary shards, pick it up. Uh, if not, again, you know, you can skip it. And as with all of the legendary gear for the different classes, if you haven't started a character yet, it's always nice to pick up the exotic that he has for that week, because then when your character, when that character hits level 20, you can equip them with a 270 piece of gear, and then the stuff that you start getting, the rares and the legendary engrams and whatnot, will be at higher ranks right off the bat uh but next up we've got the titan chest the hollow fire heart uh which the exotic perk on this is the sunfire furnace which greatly improves the recharge rate of your solar abilities while hammer of soul is charged so anyone who played destiny one as a sunbreaker there is a perk in the tree that while your super is fully charged all of your other abilities recharge faster uh, and it was really, it was very, very noticeable. It went from like a 45 second to like a 20 second. Uh, if you had uh, your abilities up at, you know, a decent charge rate. Um, but this is for the people who like to hold on to their supers. So like this is going to go really well in PVE where you're saving your super for bosses. Or if you're fighting a ton of majors. Uh because then you'll be able to get your nades and your melee faster. Because if you notice, it does say solar ability. So your class ability won't won't charge faster. Because that's not really a solar ability. It's the titan ability. Uh, but your grenades and your melee will charge faster. Uh, so in PvP, unless, you're one of the, unless you like to hold on to your super for those, okay, this is when I'm going to use it the best. You know, that'll give you the bonuses to your grenade and your melee while you're waiting to use your super. But usually, you know, you're not going to get as much of a benefit for for it in PvP as you are in PvE. Because PvE, you're more likely to hold on to your super for when you need it. Uh, so, this one is actually a really good one. I recommend picking it up even if you, or if, unless you already have it. Um, but if you don't have it, like, definitely pick it up. This is, this is my pick for the week. Uh, even if you don't play a Titan, pick it up, hold on to it. All right, Warlocks, we've got the Transversive Step Exotic Leg Armor with the exotic perk Strange Protractor. While sprinting, movement speed is increased and energy weapons are automatically reloaded. Now, 
that's a little uh little vague uh the sprinting speed it is only increased by a very very small amount um pretty much like if you're doing the same stretch i know a lot of youtubers what they'll use is they'll use um trossland uh one of the streets there to uh because that has the best straightaway and it only saves maybe a second second and a half two seconds at best for trying to run that so you're only going to move marginally faster not a whole lot and the energy weapons automatically reloaded while is only while you're sprinting uh so that is only useful if like you find yourself in a sticky situation and you're trying to run from enemies uh like especially in uh, it might be okay in pvp because you're going to be running around a lot but if you're like me you're jumping more than you're sprinting and if you're jumping you're not getting you're not proccing that uh that exotic perk for your energy weapons so all in all these ones are kind of eh they're very meh uh again if you don't have these and you've got the legendary shards to spare on it pick them up if not you can skip these ones this week uh they're they're not that great of an exotic uh all in all eh kind of meh from Zer this week but that is it for this video be sure to check out MuleHornGaming.com for all our upcoming gaming news. we got a lot of awesome games coming out in October uh, that we're going to be trying to write some stuff for. Uh, and as always, if you want to stay on top of our YouTube stuff, be sure to ignite that subscribe button with your light guardian. And until next time, remember, when in doubt, blow it up.